when a baby is born the doctors try and make the baby cry now do you know why well when the baby is in the mother's womb then its lungs remains deflated now after being born when it cries it sweeps in the first breath of fresh air and the lung does not remain deflated any more and the baby starts respiring now a baby's need are the same as an adult it feels hungry it feels the need to excrete out waste products so the fetus in the mother's womb is also a living body so it needs to respire so from where does it get oxygen you know the embryo or the developing baby grows inside the mother's body so for food oxygen and everything else the embryo depends on the mother but how does the mother provide these to the embryo and take the wastages from the embryo's body well there is a blood connection between the mother and the embryo which can do this function and the area where this connection is formed between the mother's and the baby's blood is termed as placenta oxygen and nutrients from the mother's blood enter into the placenta and reaches the baby's body now waste products and deoxygenated blood comes out from the fetus's body and enter into the mother's blood so that it can be eliminated out of the mother's body see oxygen is carried from the mother's blood to the fetus's blood now oxygen and nutrients diffuse into from the maternal side to the placenta and from the placenta it diffuses out to the fetal side now carbon dioxide and wastes generated by the fetus again diffuses out into the placenta and from the placenta it goes to the maternal side so that it can be eliminated out of the body now there is no direct connection between the mother's blood vessels and the baby's blood vessels why is that this is because the placenta helps and facilitates in the filtration and that prevents harmful molecules from entering into the fetal side and another thing is that blood flows in the mother's blood vessels at a very high pressure now if mother's blood vessels are in direct contact with the fetal blood vessels then the extraordinarily high blood pressure of the mother's side will easily rupture the fragile vessels of the fetus so to prevent that the placenta is present now we've often seen in movies that the doctor cuts a connection between the mother's body and the fetus's body now what is this connection well this connection is known as the umbilical cord where umbilical means navel because it is attached to the baby's navel and it forms the connection between the placenta and the fetus see this umbilical cord carries in nutrients from the placenta into the baby's body now how does the fetus get protected from mechanical shocks well the fetus itself forms a protective layer around itself known as the amnion the amnion encloses a fluid known as the amniotic fluid this amniotic fluid helps in reducing the mechanical stress on the baby see 
if a mother's pregnant belly is hot for some reason then the baby its inside remains protected from the mechanical shock because the amniotic fluid present absorbs the shock the layer next to the amnion is known as the chorion see this is the amnion and this is the chorion both of them have protective functions and it protects the growing fetus now together the amnion and the chorion are known as the fetal membrane so the growing fetus or the baby remains completely nourished and protected inside the mother's womb for about 36 to 38 weeks and finally it is born now why is this period fixed well this is because at the end of 9 months or 36 to 38 weeks the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland present in the brain releases an abundant amount of a hormone known as oxytocin and oxytocin causes the contraction of the uterus causing the birth of a baby so this process where a baby is born is known as parturition and the time that the fetus stays in the uterus of the mother is known as the gestation the gestation period of a baby inside the mother's womb is about 280 days the process of development of differences between males and females from an undifferentiated zygote is known as sexual differentiation 